What? Did you guys see that? I think there's a ghost in here. It definitely wasn't me. You didn't see anything. Hi, my name is Lita Spooky Boo, and I love that. All things spooky, hence uh, the name. Today, we are going to be watching videos found on the internet that you all say are haunted. And because I have an extensive, and I mean extensive, knowledge in ghosts, I'm gonna tell you if I think they're real or fake. So make sure you guess along and let's see if we come to the same conclusions. First, for show and tell, since we're doing a spooky video, I have a brand new REM pod, fresh out of the box, never been turned on. So we're gonna stick this in the back and just see if um any ghosts have an opinion because as we know I live on a haunted estate I have a degree in parapsychology, but I'm gonna be honest I did go to an online college for that But I have studied the paranormal since I was practically an infant not to mention lived through it Okay, coming into bed Totally normal. I don't know how many people have cameras in their bedroom. I do, but it's for videos. Oh, they could be doing that. Okay, door open, door open. Classic ghost move. Okay, so now we have a glitching camera. We have a shadow that definitely, now we have the perfect pinpoint. Okay. Oh, so you didn't feel the blanket getting ripped off you when you know that you're alone and you apparently just like, fell asleep like that. Oh, now you're, oh, you still haven't, oh, now you woke up. Now, and yeah, uh, we're gonna, we're all gonna, we're gonna be honest with this one, right? Um, we're all very aware that, that wasn't real. I'm gonna give that one a fail. Was it fun and definitely like spooky movie vibes? Absolutely. freaking lutely Did I enjoy it? Yeah. But I think they made it with the intention of knowing nobody was going to believe that. Cheese. Cheese. Oh, what a cheese. What you doing? Always at the ceiling with kids, man. Always at the ceiling. What you see? See a bubble. What? Bubble. What you see? Hi. Hi. Uh -uh. Who are you saying hi to? Who are you kids. Hi? Kids are. There's so many indigo okay. children out there. We're just so pure. We haven't. We haven't had society tell us that these things aren't real. Children and animals are so pure. They don't really experience things the same way that we do. A lot of the time, I think we are kind of surrounded by the presences that do love us. So if I were to say this, first of all, I would say it's absolutely real. The way that that child looks, you know, gains up the wall. A lot of the time spirits seem to be up high. I know when I walk into a room and I do sense and feel energy, it's usually clouded around the roof and in, in, in a corner or an angle. But when it comes to children and ghosts, I always trust them. When I was a little girl, I saw people like I see people now. A lot of the time when it comes to how I see things now, I see them more in my mind's eye. Like I'd be looking over here and it's blank, but I know in my mind's eye, I can describe to a T the person that I know is standing there. When you're a child, you're seeing them like you or me. And to children, it just doesn't seem wrong. It doesn't seem out of place. It's just what's happening around them. So that, real. I want to send out a huge thanks to ShipStation for sponsoring the show. We live in an increasingly automated world, but some things still require tedious manual work. Luckily for e-commerce business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task when it comes to ShipStation. There are a lot of things in my life that I wish I didn't have to do manually. You know, that good old fashioned self care when it comes to cooking myself a delicious meal. But with ShipStation, they are going to give you so much more time. It is easy to use the dashboard and manage your orders. They have a free trial and a quick setup. You get to connect all of your stores and use all of your favorite shipping companies and save so much money. Get up to 84% off USPS rates and UPS rates. It's effortless integration everywhere that you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify. So spend more time growing your business and don't be confused when you automate shipping. So guys, I want you to head over to shipstation.com slash spooky boo today and sign up for a free 60 day trial. That is shipstation.com slash boo to get your 60 day free trial. If you're a business owner, this is the move to make shipstation.com. This woman never saw her dog act like this before and decided to start filming. What do you see? He's unsettled. Oh my God. The dog's back fur is standing up almost like if it's sensing a threat. Don't get me scared. Was her dog warning her of evil spirits? 
That one is also really interesting, as again, when it comes to pets, dogs and cats, it just seems so strongly they can see and sense things that aren't there. There's a couple things that it could be. There could be a rodent in the wall where they can smell it, but they can't see it, and that is confusing them. But I'm gonna be honest, this dog's hair was raised on its back, and a lot of the time, that's letting you know that something isn't right. I remember my dog Max, rest in peace, my love. He knew when something was bad, and there were a couple times when energy had passed through our house, and his hair along the, his ridge stood up perfectly. So this video, I would say it's more so a spirit than maybe a rodent in the wall, but this dog knows something, knows that there's somebody in the house or something in the house and is letting her know. So good job, puppy. Okay, security camera footage of the road. Holy. Uh... Oh my gosh. I have a couple of ideas here of what could have happened before she went down, she kind of looked around like she saw something. A lot of the time in this security footage, if something is moving too quickly, it really doesn't get picked up. It seems like there was a point of impact. I'm gonna watch one more time because I'm kind of curious about this white jug down in the corner. I'm really thinking that maybe that's something that flew and hit her, but I'm not sure. I want to see. Hmm. That looks like it's... It didn't look like it came out of the box. I don't know if maybe that's when they hit her, but that doesn't look like it had enough force to. If something hit her at that kind of level, I don't think she would have been able to get back up. I'm gonna give this one like a 20% it's paranormal related and like an 80% that it was something external, but I can't give like an actual true reading on this one. The way it comes with the camera. Ooh, Urban Explorers. Oh, eyes. Okay, so that was really creepy. This, if you look behind it, there's two different things that I'm looking at here. There's a line in the back, which almost makes me think of a rope. But to me, I'm going to be completely honest, we might be looking at an owl. So I'm going to say that this was a really cool, fun little video they made. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Watch this. I find those one of my favorite videos because I have absolutely no way to disprove that. The way that that energy moved, moved as if it was living in a residual moment. Like it was reliving a moment of loading those cannons and going through it, just like it did in the war. The way that it moves with the camera is the way that I have literally seen things with my own eyes on investigations. So for that, I would say that that is real through and through. And I think that it's just such an interesting video. Ghosts get me so excited. No thanks. Okay, so I've seen this before. This is apparently after playing with a Ouija board. I have something really honest that I'm just always gonna say to you guys. Don't play with Ouija boards. I am never gonna be someone who's gonna stand in and say that a possession isn't real. And that is simply because back in my first book, The Home Reader, I did attend an exorcism. And I'm gonna be honest, seeing possession for what it really was was very different than what I thought. It can come across in so many different ways. I wanna watch this one more time. Tell me what you think. I look for like bad acting. No thanks. So that almost looks like a seizure, to be completely honest, but that's something, again, that can come along with demonic possession. So there are three levels of possession and they kind of take a bit of time. It can happen really quickly when you are like connected to something, but you're gonna run, it's gonna infiltrate your life. Usually it doesn't happen as quick as when playing with a Ouija board, but if you are dealing with like a really, really strong negative energy, it can literally affect your body, creating things that look like a seizure. In that moment, in this video, if it is something that is real, I think what's happened is they hooked up with something scary and it just, it messed with her nervous system and it created this. After using Ouija board. There are a lot of different cultures that connect a lot closer with spirituality and demonic things when it comes to their religion. Here in like Northern America, we look at it as more as things on TV. We go to church, but we're not like constantly protecting ourselves from demons. So a lot of these places where it's heightened, it, it, it tracks it to these situations. If this person, she had been playing with the Ouija board and then she started acting like this. Like again, as we talked about before, something could have infiltrated her. There's nothing much more to say than that. Camp footage Highland, Michigan.
So that right there, as somebody who has tested so many night vision cameras because of my sleepwalking videos, I'm going to tell you exactly what that is there. When you move quickly on some of these night vision cameras, especially when it's very, very dark, that's how people appear. You can tell the gait of the person is an actual person. That one, I'm, I'm gonna give it a 50-50. Yeah, you definitely could have caught something, but if you don't remember doing that, you might need to look in to see if you're sleepwalking. Wow. <laughs> does it work on the dog? Nah, I doubt it. <laughs> Oh, oh, it does. Yeah, y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> what the f*** was that? I don't know, bro. That s*** sounded mad close, too. Like, what the f*** mm. was that? I'm f***ing Trying shaking, to convince bro. us. Hello? Air conditioner. No, it was like... <gasps> I appreciate your effort and your convincing of the story, but I don't believe you. I really like the buildup. You tried to like, it seemed like you were trying to do something else. Your dog had absolutely no reaction. And I feel like dogs, as we've talked about, for the most part react at least a little bit. Even if my dogs haven't reacted in a way that, you know, they were barking and growling, they still were interested in what was going on, but I appreciate what you did there. That was, that was good, but that wasn't real. Security camera catches ghosts screaming in a haunted house. Okay, I heard a bang. That scripping, screaming, bobcat. That sounded like a bobcat or a mountain lion. I forget which one it is. I've heard that scream before. It sounded like maybe it ran into the house, saw its reflection in the glass and just kind of screamed at itself. Yeah, there's a chance that it's paranormal, but from my own opinion, I would say that that is a wild animal that has spooked itself. You looking for snacks? You looking there, mate? What? You want to get your treats? What? What's after? Where is it? Show me that. He's like nodding at the cupboard. Is there something else? Where is it? What are you looking at? Where? Mm. Something? Show me. Show me. What are you looking at? Door opens. Okay. Anything else? No. Your camera's, your camera's moved a lot, which is interesting. Ghost activity does tend to be in one area of the house. I'm pretty convinced so far. Fucking twat. <laughs> I'm pretty convinced this is real so Pretty far. sick of this now. I can pack it up in here. Wait. Which end of the cane got pulled out? When it comes down, it comes down from the bottom. Okay, it's weird you never flipped your cane around, but that's probably not anything. I'm overanalyzing, as we do. Cameras always move. That That is a, that's a thing to me, because you don't touch those. It's like you set the camera up just to couch something. Because batteries don't last that long. So this doesn't look like a security camera vibe. Okay, hook your cane. Door has opened. He knew that was open before he oh, wow. did you see that. Okay, watch. Oh. He moves his head back before he sees it. Oh, wow. Oh, well done. You can open a cupboard door. 
How powerful you are. What else can you do? <laughs> he leaned into that when he saw it coming. Oh no, he didn't, but that was a little exaggerated. Uh, I want to believe you so bad because you're so fun. Why are you looking in your face? Did it even hit you in the face? <laughs> oh yeah, it does. Right in the face. Right in the face. I want to believe it. I want to believe it. But there's just too many markers that would make me believe that it wasn't real. But I want to. They haven't been in this room for six years and it's been locked up. This was the first oh. time going back in okay, after hold on, this. Hold on. Give me the lighter. And I this happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, why did that take so long? Was it the wrong key? Yeah. Watch until the end. Trust me. Grandpa, Grandpa crazy. crazy. So, I was just Grandpa passed away. I don't feel good. There's a weird phenomenon when a bunch of people are together and they want paranormal activity to happen. It can it can kind of make it happen. It builds on energy. Oh my God, I just got so lightheaded. What is that? Hang in there. I just got. Corbin, don't be going through this stuff. I just got. Don't be going through his stuff, which makes me yeah, think I know. I got he, maybe he's gone. You are not welcome here. Well, you casting out your grandpa? I think there's any lights in, in here. here. Leave. You are not welcome. With unlit sage. Where's Santa Claus locked up? Intention. Intention is all that matters. What are you doing in the closet, dude? Oh, my back's burning. <laughs> is it really? Bitch, my back's yes, burning. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you're stop. kidding. Stop. No, get, get, out. Get, out. Get, out. get 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 out. marks up your back. Stop. <laughs> no, you did. Stop. You're giving me anxiety. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> fucking God. You're kidding, you right? Kidding? You're no. kidding. No. Okay, so if you if you follow your own hands on your back on the scratch those you can see which way that was pulled I think what this is is the guy from the very beginning with the sage was kind of instigating I don't like it in here. I don't feel good. Oh my back is burning I think that what's happened here is we have one person who really wants stuff to happen And it's very easy to convince a group once you're all together and you're looking for something spooky Do I think that room has weird vibes? Yeah, I think that room totally does have weird vibes But do I think you're making more out of it than there is? Absolutely, but honestly, there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're having fun. piece of CCTV footage was shared on social media in 2021. It shows a street at night and a man walking with a backpack, with another man following close behind. Suddenly, the second man lunges forward to attack the first man. This is when things take a mysterious turn. Oh shit. Looking closer, we can see a third figure appear and defend against the attacker. It pushes the man back, making him stumble and run off, but then seems to merge back into the man on the floor as he recovers and runs off in the opposite direction. Okay, so that is a really amazing, interesting clip. So we're either seeing some sick editing, which it doesn't look like, or we're seeing a phenomenon that I've seen a couple times and I've read some stories of this where, you know, sometimes your loved ones really want to protect you or maybe if you've made a deal with something you shouldn't have, which honestly the shape of the thing that kind of popped out of this person, it wasn't a human form, it was some kind of other form. But we all have spirit guides and we have things that protect us. So what do you guys think? I'm honestly actually stumped. Is that a spirit? Is that someone connected to this person? Is that a god? Is that a demon? I wanna know. Hey, so right there, the bowl moving. I'm afraid I'm getting caught for the music, but like if you can see, she tests to see if it's gonna move. She wipes the bottom and she can make it happen, but it is just, that happened on its own. And she's like, what the heck is going on? I've experienced this. Obviously, maybe that was a residual haunting and somebody was just ready for dinner. But if there is moisture on the bottom, it can cause movement. I've had this exact thing happen in my own house with a butter plate and with a blender at the old place. That's okay, so the little boy moves, but his eyes are still kind of in the mirror. <sighs> Ugh, I want to believe it. I want to. I'm going to give it 50-50. I'm literally staring at this. I'm trying to see a way that this could have been manipulated, but honestly, the way that it moves away, I would say there's definitely some kind of energy. As we know, mirrors are portals. Things live in mirrors. You're not supposed to put them across from each other. You're not supposed to stare in them at night. You're not supposed to talk to your reflection in the mirror at night. And I just believe they're like mystical objects. It's like looking into another world. Ghost caught on camera. Oh! It is not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I want to watch that again. Watch inside the circle, her hair. Shut up, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. 
So what's happening here is two things. Either wind randomly cut a single piece of hair or they're in a place with a lot of energy where a lot of spirits are gonna feed off of and they just had a moment and touched her hair. So again, this is 50-50, but the way that the hair moves and the way it's lifted up, like by a piece, I would say it's a spirit. Me sitting in the break room after putting my fave patient in a body bag. Me start staring off. My dead patient staring back at me! It's crazy the amount of people who work in healthcare that have had paranormal experiences. When you're so close to death and you're so close to all the emotion, like the happiest and saddest moments happen in hospitals. And it's almost everyone has a story. I haven't met a healthcare provider that, that, that isn't a believer at this point. scared. Real. Real. No question of doubt. Don't question me. That was a real ghost. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10! You've had nothing to say. Are you, is there anybody here today? I usually film in the middle of the night. It's 11.47 a.m., so. I guess they're not up yet. So guys, I hope what you thought was fake, you agreed with me, and what you thought was real, you also agreed with me. If you like these videos, please let me know. I really enjoy doing them. It also helps to kind of refresh all the things that I have learned over the years. Ghosts are everything to me and I love them. And I love you. So subscribe. Also threads. Threads! I love threads. Follow me on threads. I have never loved an app more than I love threads. If you don't follow me there, then I am sad. Buy my books, my merch. I love you. Until next time. Stay weird. Wait. Okay, imagine if like the Conjuring series. Yeah, I'd walk out of the theater. Can you imagine if it's like, oh no, I think there's a doll. The doll is haunted. It's <laughs> going to get you. <laughs> and then Annabelle has like a whole dance series, which is like Megan. <laughs> I would throw my popcorn at the screen. Dude, dude.